Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you something quite special. It's actually going to be the most average player in the world at Age of Empires 2. <laughs> so um, what we're looking at is El Cothier. I believe that's how it's spelled. So he on um, Age of Empires 2 or AOA2.net is ranked 23,505. So and that's out of 47,009 players. So what that means is that either side of him in the in the rank ladder, there are 23,504 players. So he is bang in the middle. So as I say, he's a French player called El Coffeur. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure, but I think what I'm going to do is just call him Average Joe. Just, <laughs> just to make life a little bit easier. So... He's actually rated uh, 1,011 ELO and uh, on AoEnexus.com he's, he's actually saying that he's, um, he's ranked uh, one place higher than AoE2.net but we'll ignore that, we'll ignore that but we'll have a look at some of his, uh, some of his stats so he's played 112 matches, he's won 58 of those uh, giving him a win percentage of 51.8 percent his local rank so in the whole of france he is the 1562nd highest ranked player in france looks as though his uh, strengths are saracens vikings and ethiopians and uh, just looking at his actual like when he's winning the games he seems to win most of his games or have a lot of success within 20 minutes that's his highest uh, win rate although most of his uh, most of his wins have actually come between the 30 to 40 minute uh, mark in terms of uh, uh, percent well it's not made of most of his wins most of his wins have passed that so he, he tends to have long games but his main success is between 30 to 40 minutes of in-game minutes so um, mathematically We'll 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 have a bit of an argument here. Now I'm using the median average, so the very middle player for this little test. But mathematically, according to AOE Nexus, the um, average rating, the mean average rating, is 1,044. So if you are on this list that you can now see on the screen, congratulations, you are bang average Joes. <laughs> So that just leads to an interesting question though. Now, should we be counting 1,000 and above or, or 1,000 as the cutoff point between low ELO and mid ELO? Going by the maths, that would suggest so. So let me know in the comments, do you agree with that? Or do you think uh, you know 1,000 ELO is still a low ELO legend? I'm pretty happy that it would be classed as mid ELO. So. El Coffeur is uh, we're coming in the dark age. Um, we still we're at uh, sixteen population at the moment. Is playing Hans two point oh, so the second incarnate incarnation of Hans. And uh, just looking at the map, he's uh, playing as the Vikings, and the map is not too bad. It's quite wallable along the sides here. He's got back main gold, back stone there as well, which is pretty decent. His berries aren't in a too bad a place. Uh, the only real issue is this open expanse here, but he should be able to quite easily wall up there like he is doing with the buildings there. He's going for an early barracks. That's quite interesting. See what the uh, uh, strategy is that he's going to be going for here. Uh, with those, if we can expect to see a drush or something along those lines. Now, the red player, looking at his map, he's got a very wallable map really good actually it's probably the best arabian map i've seen in a long time <laughs> in fact um so yeah very wallable along here and down here and you know this sort of back end area here could probably go across there and then across there um the only problem really is that all of his wood lines are at the front rather than having any at the back there so that's probably the the biggest issue it would mean that he's quite um susceptible for an archer rush of some sort or towers um which will Quite easily push him off those wood lines and probably put him in quite a bit of trouble but um generally he's got you know two back stones back gold quite well placed there um to be uh, to be protected um but 
currently we do have militia coming forward from El Cofre, so even average players can do a drush. And they are incoming. Not sure where his scout is. I was just scouting around the map, trying to get some map information. The uh, barracks is going to start coming down from hands, but uh, we'll see whether that's going to be a little bit too late. Is that going to be denied by the drush? Is the drush going to be able to see it? Possibly not. No, he's just walking straight past. Be better off getting his scout in there with him. But currently, Alcafer does have a big villager lead. However, it's not quite in the fuselage just yet, so Hans may be able to catch up there. We shall see. But we'll also see whether Alcafer or Average Joe is going for a um, Drush Fast Castle. But he is going uh, on a little walkabout into no man's land. He's obviously not scouted uh, well enough at this point. Not really doing much with them, so just a shame they missed that happening. Could have been able to deny the uh, deny the barracks from hands, but uh, it's just going to miss out on doing that as we go on now. But not really taking much uh, of an advantage here with the with the drush. It's been able to have a look where the gold is and things like that, but as you can see, hands isn't there on the gold at this point. Now I'm using Catrage as you can see, um, it can be a little bit unreliable as you can see it's a little bit jerky, I don't know whether it's just my potato computer that's doing that or whether it's just um, Catrage can be a little bit uh, oh, not quite fixed yet, let's put it that way, but I think that may be the case, but it's actually doing really well doing some blocking there with the scout and being able to pick off the villager, that's a really good move um, I don't think that's necessarily something you would see at an average level. Um, that was really quite impressive. A nice bit of micro there with the scout to block the villager and uh, get a villager kill. So mm, we'll see what else happens in this game because that could be an indication that uh, he's uh, a little bit better than, uh, than we think. But that was really good. So he's just going in on the woodland now. I'm not sure if there's a, a way you can get the small trees mod on Capturage. Capturage, I'll have a look, but didn't really see much what was going on there. Uh, but he has been, a, he has lost his scout, but he's going to be able to kill Hans' scout. By the look of it, but again, micro, good micro. Just taking that weakened uh, militiaman and just walking around to try and avoid getting hit even further uh, by the scout. So quite good at micro, quite, quite impressive actually. Um, it's, uh, Red is going for scouts now though. Uh, if we just look at uh, Han, um, Joe's base, we've got double archery range, no sorry, single archery range and the blacksmith coming up, so it does look as though he's going to be going uh, Drush FC and uh, perhaps going into archers or it's just a straight Drush archers, probably straight Drush archers actually looking at the food count. He's going to lose those militia, but certainly caused Hans quite a few issues there. Hans has caught up in terms of villager count, uh, even after losing a villager. So pretty, pretty even at this point. Well done for getting some spearmen out. So what do you think, guys? Do you think he's a higher elo than perhaps his uh, his ranking is showing? I suppose the game will certainly tell us as we go forward now he's gonna try and wall up there but I don't feel as though he's gonna be quick enough before that there's gonna be the hole oh oh, oh there was a hole there as well <laughs> as much as he tried there was a hole but uh, two scouts in there now they're gonna pick off that villager two more scouts are on the way as well we have got another scout there just chilling uh, but uh, Rick Cousin the blue player some real issues now. He hasn't been able to pick off one of the uh, one of the scouts, but certainly causing a distraction. And Hans still uh, has dropped again actually in, the, in terms of the villagers. So looks as though the blue player's villager production, average Joe's villager production, is probably a little bit better than Hans. But again, he's just scouting around, finding where to where he can attack. Blue's base is almost fully walled. Um, he's still not been able to deal with that section, but certainly he's got a few issues here with these scouts who are coming in raiding. But the spearmen should be able to do a good job pushing those off. But uh, 
just that mobility from the scouts is able to just cause a little bit more havoc in the blue base. Little idle villager there, but I'm pretty sure he's got more important things to worry about at this point. Probably too many on gold, I'd suggest. Especially for one range uh, archer production. Probably could have uh, had, had a few more farms down at this point and tried to get up to the castle age a little bit quicker than he is doing. It certainly needs some more spearmen, I think, just to guard certain areas of the map and try and reduce the mobility that these uh, scouts are having and, and kind of cutting them off really but you could do with garrison in the TC which he has done and again if you just add some uh, spearmen over here to protect this wood line it would have gone a lot better for him now I don't know whether there still is a hole there whether those are part built and capture age has frozen a little bit but now we're back up and running again yeah so he's starting to get a lot of distraction here from the scouts causing quite a few issues so he still does have the villager lead just by two but uh, the armor upgrade coming in now for the red player and get that extra extra armor on the already tanky Frank scouts and this is not looking great really causing him some issues and it's going to take him a while to get up into the castle age at this rate just looking at Hans's um, economy and his resources is obviously floating way too much wood uh, he could probably do with getting a uh, market down and just rebalancing his economy at this point so that he can um, look at progressing into the castle age himself but the threat has now been uh, finally dealt with quite a lot of spearmen out there in the end but uh, certainly looking as though average joe is going to be the first one to be able to click up to the castle age is not looking far off at all it just needs an extra hundred or so more wood but red is trying to get uh, walled up now as well so he has got some uh, he has got an archery range himself so he's probably expecting crossbowmen in the uh, in the castle age from the viking play which is certainly the usual play you would expect and uh, the blue player has just bought some food and he's been able to click up to the castle age getting in some uh, economic upgrades as well which is great to see and he's now going over to uh, the red player is now finally going over to uh, mine gold yeah, certainly needs the well it does have the market it's just not really done anything with it but yeah he could quite easily sell a thousand wood there and be able to uh, find his way buy his way up to the castle age which is certainly something he could do doing but he's getting the armor upgrade for the skirmishes which i'm expecting he'll go into just needs to be careful now because there's a lot of uh, well they're just patrolling around i was I thought they were going to go to that wood line and start picking off the villages there so he's going to loop around and go for this top wood line instead. So there are three scouts and some skirmishes in the uh, buildings there for reds, which is uh, pretty good. He probably needs to um, stop, well, yeah, stop the scout production for this point, but just keep on ramping up the uh, skirmish production because they will quite easily destroy that army, uh, provided it's got a decent enough mass of them. So he needs to focus on the... Uh, on the uh, spearmen with the skirmishers. Certainly could do with some more coming out. And it could certainly do with walling up this big expanse here. It's gonna cause him some issues if he doesn't. And he's close to chopping through as well, but just needs to micro his army, or manage his army a little bit better. And blue is now in the castle age. So we can probably expect some knights to be coming along. Or well, not knights, sorry crossbowmen which uh, we are getting the upgrades now as well as the uh, bogkin arrow and the bow saw upgrade there is a hole blue's been able to get in through the hole and that's really messed everything up for the red player and he's just going to be able to uh, try and get on top of that now and just, just needs to wait for 
crossbowmen to come in which is in now so should really be able to make a really really good engagement here not enough skirmishes to really help and the scouts themselves aren't going to be uh, too useful in this situation but could really do we're getting some more uh, military production buildings down i believe and certainly getting some more scouts out but he has clicked up to the castle age now but he's going to be way behind and uh, i think blue should be able to have uh, free reign here we've got more and more crossbowmen coming out and yeah, again he's doing pretty well with his eco what grazes is now got uh, heavy plow coming in as well so on top of the viking uh, why has he got heavy plow oh yeah yeah heavy plow so on top of the viking eco he's going to be really in a really really strong position so he is just focusing purely on the uh, crossbow production making a forward workshop now i think again that's something that you wouldn't necessarily see from a, a 1000 elo player potentially you can let me know in the comments if you agree with that but i do get the feeling average joe is not quite so average as a as a as is potentially make it out you should be able to get in there i'm just thinking if you look at the that uh, last bit of micro that we was doing earlier Seems to have good, you know, fairly good awareness of uh, what to do. Is being able to build forward. Is getting forward siege workshop. Is um, really getting that map control. All seems to indicate to me that he may not be as average as we think. But we shall see. I mean, looking at his stats on um, AOE2.net and AOE Nexus, there's a, obviously a fair amount of losses as well as wins. So. Potentially, he's just a little bit unlucky. I wouldn't certainly, without looking at the other games, I can't really make too much of a judgment at this point. But uh, he's in there picking off villages. He's got quite a big lead now in terms of villagers. Um, eight villager lead at this point. And there's going to be more and more. He's going to lose all of those on the gold. He does have a massive skirmishes, but. Elite skirmish is coming in and could probably do with getting some uh, some more knights out before uh, going in here because he's going to lose all of that army to those pikemen quite easily. Skirmish is just not doing enough at this time. I think perhaps once the uh, elite skirmisher upgrade comes in, we'll be looking at a lot better position. But again, some micro there from the blue player. Hit and run, hit and run, picking off those uh, skirmishes and uh, picking off villages as well. So, again, certainly microing quite well. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but uh, we have quite a decent mass of elite skirmishes now. So, whether it's going to be enough to be able to deal with these crossbow, we're not sure. Um, Average Joe using the market quite a bit there as well to be able to rebalance and, and get uh, the... Uh, resources that he, that he needs. He does have ballistics coming in now as well, which is going to be really beneficial to him. But you know, villager counts now for the uh, red player is just down to 15. So I think we can see where the direction this is going. And that is the end of the game. Red player resigned. I think it's the right thing to do with 15 uh, villagers left. And that's it. If you want to see more Age of Empires 2 content or learn build orders, then do subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this, do give it a little thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.